So now you heard the poll present what we think will be the key drivers and trends uh, for the industry for the next 10 to, 10 to 20 years. Of course, you, we, ho we hope that you will appreciate this report and that it will spark uh, discussions inside and outside our industry. But for us at Inventia, the primary reason is to work with the Global Outlook report as papermaking to us the future, to be prepared to face the future and to make that an integrated part of our strategy process. Our Inventia Global Outlook make a great, import, great input to the new Inventia research program, which we are also releasing here today and that we will work with during the period 2015 to 17. Our research programs have been the core of Inventia's operation for a long time and many pioneering uh, processes and products within the forest industry have their origin in our programs. 26 companies from four continents are participating in the ongoing research program. And that's a great example for, on how, how we work together with our customers to create a platform for building long-term competitiveness through research. The new research program consists of seven program areas, and you can see them here, um, which um, each with a common pre-competitive element that is leveraged by public funding and separate applications. And in addition to that, we also offer three separate projects. As you can see, the research program is focused still on improving the existing products and processes but in addition to that, you can also see it's demonstrating new opportunities with novel materials, chemicals and products. We also hope that you will take some time after the presentations here to stroll around and see our poster session and also discuss a bit with our researchers that are here today. The flexibility of the program allows you to participate only in the pre-competitive part or in that in combination with all or, or some of the application areas. We also welcome you to form your own application areas alone or together with chosen partners. Paul mentioned the diminishing pool of skilled labor as a threatening trend for the industry. I can, however, assure you that attracting young talented has so far at least not been an issue for Inventia. So, uh, I welcome Astrid, Morten, Konstantin and Kaji on the stage and they are now going to share some insights in what we will work with together in a new research program. Hi, my name is Konstantin Sandin. I work with papermaking research right here uh, at our uh, paper machine fix. Reducing the amount of energy and material used during the production of paper is one of the most important areas of improvement for the industry today. But how can we accomplish that without reducing product quality? One of the best ways to improve resource efficiency is by looking at the fibers. When you think about it, nearly all of the natural resources used in paper making can be related to the fibers in one way or another. If we start using fibers of their specific qualities in our product, it's possible to decrease the amount of energy raw material, water, and even chemicals used in the papermaking process. Understanding the fibers, process control, and product quality are all key points in the idea behind research program source-efficient papermaking. We want to explore the synergies between process technology, paper chemistry, and paper mechanics in order to improve today's papermaking processes. We believe it's a very important field of research. If we want to experience new opportunities for the papermaking business in the future, with all the new cool products that follows, it's essential for us to optimize today's processes. It's all about finding a good balance between the issues of today and the possibilities of tomorrow. As Paul said earlier, there's one field with a lot of promise in the future which combines both growth in, of traditional products and exciting new ones, and that is packaging. Don't you agree, Astrid? Yes, I agree, Konstantin. Packaging is a promising area for paper. With packaging, you can really see both bulk and specialized, interactive and intelligent product, uh, products, exactly as Paul described it. I work with packaging-related research here at Inventia, and I really believe that intelligent and interactive paper on board for packaging will expand in the future. 
through these attributes, packaging performance is boosted significantly. They contribute, for example, to monitor shelf life and freshness of food products. They can also display information on quality and safety precautions relating to the packaging content. At Invencia, we address these added attributes in our research. Also another important trend, demand-driven innovation is one main topic in our packaging-related research proposal. We are considering consumer demands and perception. As markets continually change, acknowledging customer demands and even involving customers and end consumers in product development has to be more in the focus. Customer demands and perception is also an area that we are strong and are working to expand further at Invencia. Looking towards the future, we are sure that a value chain perspective is becoming increasingly important and we have therefore incorporated it in our research proposal, boosting packaging performance. A year ago, when we presented our first Invencia Global Outlook, we talked about proud packaging. If we do everything right, wouldn't it be great if we lived in a world where packaging is seen as part of the solution rather than the problem itself. We may even enter an area where the traditional meaning and perception of packaging changes completely. Naturally, when packaging becomes even more intelligent and functional, it will become more common to surround ourselves with products made of cellulose fibers. But there is much more to our raw materials than just cellulose. Paul and the experts have talked a lot about a society built on bio-businesses. So are there any other opportunities, Martin? Yes, <coughs> of, of course. Uh, both the interest in uh, biomaterials and the diversity of bio-based products are growing. And the paper industry has access to raw materials, not only the cellulose, but all components of the wood. The extractives, hemicellulose, and lignin, of course. Uh, in the biorefinery, the components can be separate and modified to suit specific products. Through development, we can increase the potential of uh, the products, and we want to understand the biorefinery processes in order to control, control them, which makes it possible for us to tailor them for each application. Let's talk about lignin. With the lignin boost process, lignin has been given more potential to be used as raw materials for products. I work with carbon fibers, and I don't know about you, but I like to imagine a future where we all drive around in cars built of carbon fibers from the forest. Like a high-tech future version of the toy cars in wood that my father used to play with when he was a child. And we may even live in houses of carbon fibers and use forks and spoons of carbon fibers instead of metal. Lignin can be used to make carbon fibers, and this is the focus in our research project, Lignin Value Chain. And lignin-based carbon fibers have the potential of being more cost-effective than the petroleum-based today. And the demand of carbon fibers is is foreseen to increase, which makes it important to find a new uh, bio-based renewable starting material. All requirements that lignin fulfill. Now when I think about it, now when I think about the potential of this, how do we know that my carbon fibers and other bio, new biomaterials are safe for us to use? Kaya, what do we need to think about? The concept of product safety for carbon fiber packages or even a spoon is very complex. It embraces in general the product's whole life cycle. The chemicals used in the production, the production processes, additives, the final product, the intended use of the product, the product's life cycle and the product's impact on the environment and our health are all included in the concept. In today's society, where the flow of information is easily accessible, and news are spread quickly, not to underestimate the media using major headlines with the molecule of the month. That combination, together with the society's demand on product safety, 
urge us to react with promptness of action. This action should be based on relevant facts in order to maintain our customers' trust and loyalty. When my colleague Paul asked experts about what would be the most important feature for fiber-based products, product safety and health safety were ranked highest. I agree with them, and I believe, together with my colleagues, that product safety is an area for research and for cooperation for all companies. Therefore, we have a, in our new um, research program, we have a product safety project that I would be happy to tell you more about after this presentation. We even call it product safety towards the future. The area of product safety will continue to commit and engage people, and it will generate challenges and opportunities for many of us that are involved. New directives, legislations, and, and demands sometimes seems limitless and maybe too much. But the intention at the end is to provide a safe product and to give our next gener generation a great taste of life. Thank you all. And to give the next generation a great taste of life. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It would be something to do. I hope you will enjoy the new report. I hope you will enjoy reading through our new research program. That you will stay and ask a question about it, as I said before. And I hope that you will be able to join us on the journey to a stronger, more sustainable future. Helping us to think new, thinking ahead and thinking together. Thank you all for this, and we are come to an end to this program of today. Uh, later on, continue to mingle, meet with your friends, but later on when you are leaving us, you will find the report as well as a small uh, um, summary that describes the research program on your way out. And for those of you that have been following us through the webcast, don't forget to order your own Global Outlook. Thank you. <laughs>